for success. You work for the Donna Times and you're a writer and you're, you're well known and you've been able to talk to presidents and leaders in Ghana and, and certainly you can carry your own weight. Mm -hmm. But now you got to do it in an American way. <laughs> and so God has purpose for you and, and we would charge you to make this marriage last. Don't let anything break up your marriage. No one should come between you and your spouse except for Almighty God. God has to be first and foremost, and God is going to be the one that's going to keep it together, even when the tough times come. And the tough times will come. Because this is not just a, a day thing or a week thing or a month thing or a year thing or a decade thing. Amen. But this marriage has to last until you breathe your last breath. Amen. Amen. And you got some black men in America that will be watching you, Charles. Make sure the marriage men last. Long time. I can say that to Brother Charles because that's, that's my brother and I met him in Ghana. Amen. Amen. And so the two of you now are going to move according to God's will and God's plan. It's not about what you want. It's what God wants for the marriage. So I charge you for all these witnesses that you do it God's way. Put God first. Learn to talk things out. Don't just uh, get upset and just go into your own uh, secluded corners. But talk it out. Work it out. And let God give you the resolution. Sometimes you just have to keep your mouth shut, Charles. Amen. 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 And as a man, just learn to just suck it up. And say, yes, dear. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and and, and, and sister, sister Patrice, love this man. And I know you do, amen. But love him and treat him like a king. Yeah. And he will always come home and treat you like his queen. That's right. That's right. So this time, we say to you, as a marriage vow, First to you, Charles, do you, Charles, take this woman to be your wedded wife? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the duties that a husband owes his wife until death will separate you. Do you promise this, Brother Charles? I do. Did you hear him? Yes. This is being uh, streamed Facebook Live. 